All right, what's up, guys? Fuffin here, and I have been uh, a little bit absent, as you may have known. So, you know, I'm gonna try and update you guys on all that because it's a little bit of um, like a bunch of stuff, but. Anyway, before I get started, you know the drill. Um, if you guys like the videos, I would very much appreciate if you would, uh, you know, like, comment, or subscribe. Um, as always, it's not necessary, but I do get a, a nice dopamine release from seeing that little number rise. And, you know, I don't know how much it helps you guys out, but it helps me out. Anyway, um, so... I have not been playing as much TFT as I have wanted to. I actually started out the patch um, a little bit strong in uh, the sense of, like, playing a little bit more because um, I, I was kind of interested in just trying to see how the patch was uh, working, but... <laughs> A couple inconveniences had actually uh, happened. Um, the first one that was probably the most um, significant was that I actually um, injured my hand. I cut my finger pretty badly, and that uh, that kind of put me out of commission for a little bit, unfortunately. And uh, I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty much what that is um it kind of uh kind of uh was pretty bad and it, it's still bad i did it about a week ago and my uh my hand is not healed i actually um i guess the best way i can describe it is uh when you like sleep on your arm um and then you can't feel it um it's kind of like that feeling uh that's been going on for a number of days so you know it's not it's not really the best thing but I'm dealing with it nonetheless um, this is a really bad opening like This is a very, very bad, very inconvenient opening, but we'll see. Anyway, yeah, so the uh, the hand injury was definitely one of the bigger things. And I actually had recorded a video, um, I think, the day after it happened, in which I tried to play when the injury was relatively fresh. And that was just... Oh, my God, that was a nightmare. Um, I could not even function at all with with the hand injury so it's been better now that i can actually you know use it to some extent but um yeah okay we can lose this one but, um all right we need something here cool and there you go that's one of the situations in which rolling is Kind of your only option, so. Alright. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, I just kind of, uh, I wasn't able to do that. And I still can't actually use my hand, like like normally um i i've been attempting to play tft one-handed and it really sucks but i actually have use of my uh ring finger now um without any pain or anything like that so i can actually you know do that um so it's not completely uh hopeless i kind of want this jana Kind of want the Janna. Kind of want to see if I can use the Katarina. Kind of want the Vayne. 
I need to think about what, what I can move this around with. I don't know. I think regardless, I have to pre-level instead of making 10 gold, because I don't have the money. Um, but yeah, in essence, that was kind of the the bigger thing that had happened um, recently with that, and um, it was pretty bad. But I mean, now I can roll and do everything with my second hand, so um, that's that's been fine. And I've been uh, trying to learn more um, about the current... Uh, you know, whatever you call it, um, patch. And just kind of see what I can, uh, use it, like, use in it, um, I think ideally we go for tier here. It's either tier or hand of justice. If not, we'll go for something else. See, my items have kind of changed a little bit, or I guess my, in general, play style, because I think set, uh, is pretty strong. But... I think it's a lot more fluid with the items. Like, I'm more willing to slam, like, crazy, uh, items. Yeah. It's either the tier or, yeah. It would have been... Honestly, anything here would have been fine. Because I could I could actually make, uh, Chalice. I don't actually care about making blue buff that much anymore. Um, I'm just exclusively slamming strong items. <laughs> um... I'm trying to see if the Kindred would be stronger than Zen Zhao. I think so, because it's a ranged unit. But, um, I still do like, like, blue buff on a personal level, but I don't think it's, um, like, completely necessary anymore, because the champions that use blue buff aren't the strongest in the all legendaries comp but i'm actually gonna lose this that's crazy this is the top guy right yeah it is yeah he was he was strong even with a fortune chosen he was pretty uh pretty strong okay so we can change up stuff here so that goes All right, so we're actually in a really good spot right now. Because we can make 20 gold on this turn. <laughs> See, like, this is the better case scenario of, uh, you know, what I was just doing. And then my level 6 will be cannon, but yeah. So, I've been experimenting with a lot of st stuff, and I think there's a lot of viable openings uh, now. I don't know if it's as... Um open as the last patch was it's kind of hard to say but i think that keeper and cultist are absolutely ridiculous now and i think elderwood's pretty pretty strong too this guy might actually be running elderwood he is um but besides that i mean there's kind of a lot of uh things but i mean even even in this case um like you can kind of get away with a lot of stuff now um, that I think kind of would have screwed you over a little bit too much before, but regardless, I think this is a, uh, okay thing. <clears throat> anyway, let's see. So, yeah, the hand injury is probably the biggest thing. Um, besides that, they're basically at, at my, my job, the place where I make money. That's not, you know, YouTube because I don't make money off of this. Um, I was on a shortened uh, workload, which was actually the reason that um, I was making more videos and I had a lot more videos like in the works uh, in general. But unfortunately, um, my workload had resumed now and due to the holidays and all that, um, it just means that I don't have the time for TFT like I did, um, you know, a couple weeks ago. Or or for a couple weeks, I guess I should say. 
Um, but, you know, I have a lot of pairs here, but they're not like anything I could realistically use. And I want to slam an item here, but I don't want to make Zephyr, so I think I might just make Chalice on Demo, honestly. And then uh, Belts for Elise. And then we can sell these, hold this, I guess. But basically, yeah. Um, my workload had resumed, so that kind of just slowed things down again, uh, um, as I was saying. But hopefully, um, at least within the next couple weeks, I'll be able to continue making content. But the they just have some additional complications, right? And I had actually filmed a couple videos, uh, like I was saying, and... The issue was that, I guess the issue in the videos um, that I was talking about was that um, I kind of don't have a lot of things to uh, do um, in, in reference to content and videos, right? Um, I've kind of exhausted a lot of my own ideas and I wanted to kind of open up the floor to new ideas and um, I mean in general I definitely still want to be making content uh, I want to be producing quality content but unfortunately with everything that's been going on it's not super uh, you know easy to do let alone um, plausible for a lot of things and this also comes from the fact that I'm not a streamer. I don't know if I've mentioned this on uh, videos or if those videos never made it to the light of day and I've just forgotten about them. But, you know, as many of you may know, I'm not a personal fan of streaming and I'm not a streamer. So with that comes uh, the added issue of um, me not being able to produce the... TFT traditional streamer content, right? So if you are unaware, um, most people who play TFT are actually streamers that, uh, well, not who play TFT, but who make TFT content, actually stream the game and they use the platform um, to like double up content, I guess. So most of most of the their channel will actually be comprised of stream highlights meaning that they stream and do youtube on the side meanwhile i do youtube and do not stream so i try to do these full game commentaries as a way to you know kick out that same deal of content my only issue is that personally i don't really like these solo content videos unless i have maybe a topic to discuss or maybe something specific that i want to talk about or i'm showing you guys something new that you can uh, learn because personally i don't think i'm a very interesting person i feel like okay that wasn't a mistake um i feel like personally i'm not too interesting and in that i don't have a lot to say so maybe there's not you know any inherent value off of that but um <clears throat> i'm just like kind of uh lost a little bit for you know where where to go um from here in terms of the content right because ideally i don't want to just keep making these videos unless it's well received these videos are are doing okay i mean they get roughly like you know 50 ish views or whatever which is about average um for you know the channel but there are just little instances of like you know is this something that you guys really want or is this just what you're watching because it's here kind of thing and ideally all of the content on my jesus that was crazy that wukong accidentally one shot my team up um, but, you know, usually I would, like, in a perfect world, I would simply produce 
the content that I know gets me the most viewership and that I think that people enjoy the most, which is the uh, in-depth basic guide um, and other materials such as that. Unfortunately, those videos take absolute ridiculous amounts of time to actually create and thus are not sustainable for a uh, you know daily sort of upload schedule. Ideally, what I would be doing for the channel is producing content either regularly, semi-regularly. I want to ideally make videos that can come out every day um, because I think that for the people who watch these videos, um, they would enjoy it. And also that, you know, like, you guys get content. My issue is that um, I don't have a lot of ideas for stuff. And the ideas that I do have are very short-lived uh, or are very time-consuming. So I'll, another example of this would be like I made a couple videos discussing the items. I've made a bunch of drafts. I made tier list format. I made full video format, all of that. And all of them have ended up scrapped because um, I want to do a, a video on items. But every single instance of the item videos have been almost an hour long and that I'm just not super happy with, right? So they end up on the cutting room floor. But besides that, I mean, you know, there's different kind of ways that I can try to continue making content. Um, but ultimately, it's just on like what you guys like and all that, really. I've got a lot of items here. All right, so it's definitely this. Definitely this. That seems about fine. Um, yeah, so basically, whatever you guys want, I'll pretty much uh, do my best to try and accommodate for. But it's just kind of up in the air right now. Um, hopefully, you know, I won't have another instance of the hand injury or any of that that I have to deal with. But you know how things go. And like I said, my job... Resuming and all that just definitely has uh, complicated matters a lot. I, I I don't know if I want to sell this Chosen or not because it seems like it's not winning me a lot, but like I'm not losing either. And I think that maybe saving my gold is just going to be better. I'm definitely thinking that. And I'm going to have to drop this Shen. Um, I'll need some upgrades at some point. So, But this should be fine. Yeah, so I think that, like I said earlier, um, a lot of things like Zeke's and, uh, you know, like you can see that I'm slamming a lot of items that are kind of like less um, what I would usually go for, such as saving uh, things for like Hand of Justice and all that. Um, but I think that there's a lot of value in slamming the AoE items. Um, this isn't a new uh, idea or anything. This has definitely been around for a while. But I think that um, right now, people are kind of really, really scared in TFT. And I think that you can play really aggressively and benefit um, a lot from it too. Kind of, like I said, almost more than uh, the previous patch just because... Um, it just kind of lets you, I don't know how to put it. <clears throat> the previous patch, the, the, the previous patch was very feast or famine. And I think that this patch, uh, it's a little bit easier. 
because in in the last patch you kind of either got a good opening or you got fucked. And in, in this patch is like okay, well if you get a good opening, you are kind of set for it. And if you don't get a good opening, you can kind of salvage. I could be wrong, but it was almost like in the last patch, depending on who you fought and if you had blue buff or not, you pretty much either won or lost. That was it. And in this, I mean, if you slam the AOE items, if you slam something like ZZ Rot, you can get away with a lot of things. Ideally, I get the lease in here, but there's no universe in which I get that lease in. Um, besides that, I think maybe the Lilia, maybe the Warwick... Maybe the cast. I want something expensive here. I don't want the level threes. Okay, well, I might get the level threes. The Lilia will be good because it's an easier out portal on a five cost. Thank you very much. I was not going to take the, the Nami. I would take a Warmogs over a one cost at this point. Especially because it's a, you know, other thing. But this is definitely going to get sold right now and... We're going to make a ZZ route portal, so I can just keep buying four costs and holding them till we uh, get something um, good, like a uh, two-star Morgana or something. Whatever, whatever it is, we're going to be putting it in. Um, ideally, we could get something like Riven, and then we could um, go for, like... Um, for dusk to go to level nine, but right now I mean we're pretty we're pretty set. Uh, most of our two plus cost units are two starred. Like if we look at this, um, the only thing is like Kennen and Thresh, but they're not really doing too much. Our our important things are uh, are winning right now. So and and the biggest thing is the. Uh, Kindred, obviously. Uh, Jeweled Gauntlet Kindred is crazy. If that blue buff wasn't on a level 2 Teemo, I would have uh, sold for that as well. But um, I think that Jeweled Gauntlet is really, really, really good. Uh, especially when you uh, consider... Uh, 4, 8, 16... Yeah, no. I don't have enough. Um... But especially when you consider, like, how much damage it actually does in the early game, and depending on the frequency. So, like, Kindred is a really good user of Blue Buff and Jeweled Gauntlet because of, like, how quickly she can spam her spell. Uh, like, it doesn't matter if you don't crit every single time. You use your spell enough times to where, like, that crit will eventually come out, and when it does... The value is uh, insane. It's kind of like Nidalee's spear on Jeweled Gauntlet. If she crits, it kills something instantly. But if she doesn't crit, then it loses like a insane amount of value. That's like very Feast or Famine. But on spammable abilities, instead of the uh, really high mana cost, you can get away with it. And I think that Jeweled Gauntlet is almost uh, necessary in the end game for this comp because Set uses it really well uh, as well. Because if you get true damage on Set plus the uh, the explosion, you are uh, you're doing pretty good. So I think I want to switch into Four Spirits here. Four Spirit is pretty decent. My problem right now is, like, my Cultist isn't really doing anything. Because ideally, if you have a Cultist chosen, then you'd go for, you know, the six Cultist or whatever. But I'm just not. Okay, well, we have two Talons. And we have a Divine Spatula. Interesting. So, there's not really anything I can use for that... But I think I'm actually going to sell this and roll. Because 
Because right now there's not a big use for some of my things here. However, I can do that. That'll at least, um, at least keep the stats up. This guy rolled down though. That's fine. We can lose probably two or three fights here. As long as we don't go under like 50, 40 health-ish, um, we'll be fine. But to be honest, I think a lot of people are actually gonna roll down. So that's why I was looking for uh, something else. Not hitting a chosen was kind of um, not the best. We have enlightened talon. I don't really want that. Um, so, duelist Zim Zhao, not really feeling it. Okay, we have a spirit Yumi. That's actually really good. So, I'll keep I'll keep that in. Five spirit doesn't do anything, but I'll keep that in for now. I just need to think about what else can go in. Mystic could go in. That would actually be really good. I could also put in Hunter. But I don't think that that really works. I'm trying to think of who who would go as the last spirit, though. Because I'm pretty sure I lose this, too. Because, um, I mean... It might, it might honestly just be Ari. Ari can go. I'm not tripped up about it. I think Mystic will be good, though. So we're, we're going to roll for Mystic. Actually, that's that works. That works just fine. And now... Yeah, this should be fine. I think everything here is pretty uh pretty decently off. The issue is that I've been rolling and leveling, so my gold is kind of not doing as good as I would be hoping for, but I personally like running spirit um a lot because while while like blue buff for kindred would be really good here um the spirit buff actually kind of compensates that in the same manner that uh chrono riven did in the last set basically with riven you wanted blue buff because you can spam her ability but if you have six chrono it would spam the ability no matter what um i'm trying to think there's not like anything really here that's gonna win I think Giant Slayer is probably the best thing here, though, because obviously it'll deal with the tanks um, later, but I can go for pretty much anything here and be fine. I'll go for something expensive. So, this will probably go on Warwick. I have um, the Divine Spat, and that lets me... Uh, you know, use divine more effectively. So this should really, really set me up uh, here. So ideally, I don't lose any of these last two rounds, and then I go nine and just sweep the lobby. But if I do lose one, it just means that I have to either roll next turn at level eight, or I have to go nine later and risk, you know, getting like fourth instead of first. So I hope that the RFC Warwick does good. Um, this is kind of a crazy team. Um, but we'll see. Because unfortunately this Ari is kind of going to... Yeah. All right. 40 health? Um, yeah, so basically 
if we lose this next one, we're playing for fourth. But I'm not sure that we can lose another one. So this guy looks moderately strong. We just have to position against that, though. So we are going to attempt to do that. And if we can't, well, this is probably going to be a play for third game, but I think that's fine considering that I've kind of talked up all of my points that I felt like I needed to talk up in this video. Yeah, this guy's crazy strong too. That's okay, we have a kindred. Ah, oh, come on. Very, uh, very unlucky there, but it's okay because, uh... Because we're going to... Sell... I'm gonna sell down in level. And then we have a Morella Namicon. So now we're at 50 gold in level 9. So we can play for first still. But if we lose one more, we are not playing for first anymore. And we hit a Yone, I bet. Okay. So you take this. Yone. Yone probably just gets the use. That's probably fine. Divine spat too. Which means that I need a divine. There's a divine. You go in, you go in. You can take this. You can take this. That can go, this can go, this can go in. And the only thing that is not benefiting me right now. Okay. So while 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 we weren't able to switch into everything perfectly, I think that I was going to say I think we're in an okay spot, but uh, this guy has a level 3 Katarina, so. So we'll take this shit, and then we'll just roll it down. We're still playing for fourth. So hopefully, hopefully we hit that fourth. If not, well, unlucky. So, uh... All right, so this should work better. <laughs> I cannot find a thresh. You, sir, are level nine. This Yone is kind of strong, but not against this whole team. Yeah, we're going to lose that. That's okay. We pulled out a fourth. Anyway, if you guys have any ideas, uh, I'd love to hear them. But with that said, hopefully I can make some content here soon. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh, you know, have a good one.